Hello, this is Sean McCangus, and this is episode 22, season 2 of the Highland League podcast. Today's guest is one of Fraserburgh's deadliest strikers, Scott Barber. In this interview, he talks about winning silverware, interest from a Scottish League One club amidst COVID, his ambition to win the Highland League with Fraserburgh and gain promotion to League Two, and much more. Make sure to visit Highland League Podcast.podbeam.com or search Highland League Podcasts on iTunes to keep up to date with the latest podcasts. Hope you enjoy this interview. Earliest memories of, of playing football? I didn't really start playing football properly for a team until like first year of academy. I started playing for academy football team and at the same age, it was more like phrased by a link up. Okay, and so I was just like the first season of like basically living aside. So it was basically there, like for that four year, it was basically academy and, and link up until obviously like, prop development came on the go. In terms of after that, and you, you went on to the juniors, how. how... How big of an experience was that in terms of developing your game? Uh, well, it was like Link, I think it was, how long would it have been? I think I might have been 15 or 16. I think I would have been in my last season of Link Up. Yeah, if it was my Link Up, then it was a case where usually if you left Link Up, yeah, manager at Brock at the time would uh, kind of uh, give a shout to either train with the Brock team or go to the development after that. So I think it was, I think that summer would have been 2000. Nine maybe I think I ended up going to you would get a couple of young lads and have a young one of the lads would go to get loaned you to either you usually be broken out alongside Mad or Buckingham Hearts game. So I get a few boys for us at Buckingham Hearts only way through a uh, juvenile days because I was at Peter Reed Boys Club for a season. So funny enough, it was like a boy, uh, for the Peter Reed team with Boys Club at the time, it was like Paul Campbell, uh, Paul Young, and Louis Davidson from mm. playing with New, so it's pretty funny. Uh, same time, but uh, here it is. I can't. I was like a boy, Kevin Park. He's the new Dyson, so I can't. I can't see him and a few others. So I won't do to here it is for that season. So it was like my first full season at junior. So it's a totally tough in job. Like okay, I'm, I recommend to do that for any youngster to go and get kind of game time. Yeah. So so how did you find the switch from from youth football to to men's football? I, I liked. It, I enjoyed it. Like it was. Uh, I mean. My, I mean, my first game I played cuter, I think it was. And, uh, no, it was against all our guys and that. And, uh, uh, it was good. It was just like a battle. Beat in a day, I think. I would beat 2 1 in the day. But, you no, know, it was a good, like, no, it was good. It was really good. Like, that first, e- the first season was in a, a Super League. We got relegated in season two. I play I did a world of good for myself, like, uh, just to get games and to play against, like, men and that again. Did you ever ever get the opportunity to, to get any minutes for, for Fraserburgh in that spell? Get a few youngsters got a game up at Fort William last game of the season or something like that. I think. I I came on I think one of the end of first season juniors once that season finished for a game at Clark I think I came on last for a couple of minutes it's a uh, centre midfield like but I didn't I didn't really class that as my debut to be honest like uh, so what were you ever tempted to stay in centre midfield or uh, funny enough like after like at the same time I was like loaned out to Buckingham and Hertz that season I was actually playing for development and I was actually playing left back again I <laughs> it's funny if you think about it now like but uh, I was playing he, Charlie at the time didn't he fancy him as a striker so again, he, he must have thought I was decent my, my feet and I was good going forward but I couldn't def- defend to save my life and I I was I couldn't I couldn't even do throw-ins <laughs> uh, uh, every, every like Tweety's game I reckon I must have played I must have been 16, 17, no, 16, 17, but I was playing maybe 10, 20, under 20s game that season, and I just, uh, I just couldn't throw, it. every game fell through, I was like, oh, no. I, I just didn't know if I was doing here again, but no, it was um, just, it was kind of left back in that 20 season, and uh, at one time, it was like centre midfield, uh, just for a couple of minutes again, but I, I was the only time under like Charlie Duncan, kind of spell. Yeah, so so what what was he like to, to deal with? Yeah. I was, I was so young, like at the time again, I didn't really like obviously think about new games. A legend at Hayley Lee, Brock, and all like that. But again, at the time, again, he, he was good with the youngsters, but I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't really train that. It wasn't even a lot of sessions with him or anything like that. Again, it was mere just he did help other youngsters and all like that. Again, obviously, the amount of youngsters he's put through Brock and all like that, but he just didn't, I didn't front his me as a striker or anything like that. So, okay, I didn't, I you know, kind of, I kind of thought just. I'd rather just get released again and just 
prove myself as a striker elsewhere again. Yes. So how 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 good was that to go back to um, Buckinghaven Heart and, and and get games and and score goals? I I ended up getting loaned out again after that first year as junior football because I was still I was huffing and hanging with her just to get released and just play junior football. Can uh, prove myself as a striker again. So I get I got loaned out again. Again, I was a young lad. I was just like, all right, okay, I'll just agree with you. We'll go get loaned out again. Go loaned out to long side then. I was there for about three, four months. They were super league and but even got hair got relegated. So I ended up, yeah, maybe it might have been. I think after three, four months, James Strahan was manager, but along with Joe, George Marley, I think there was co managers. James is sadly no longer with us, but can he, he kind of, he, he, he drove for the Brock, he gave him a run back and forth, uh, Brock alongside. So I enjoyed it, but they wasn't you know, great. Um, so they kind of got they kind of got the dunt after three, four months. And after that it happened, I kind of kind of wanted to go, a, go back to Buckingham and Hertz. I enjoyed the air and I enjoyed my time playing football. Yeah. So I kind of get the uh, thing sent to them. But at the same time, I was loaned out for the Brock. So if it happened at the same time, I think it was like, I think we just kind of got released for the Brock at the same time as well as kind of signing uh, for Buckingham and Hertz. Like kind of permanently again, just just for the season or whatever. So I was my playing Division One uh, end of that season again. But it's funny, it was because I was only alongside for three four months and I ended up finishing top goal scorer <laughs> like seven eight goals. And you know, I was even and and that was for the season finished. You know, so it's pretty funny. So so mo- moving forward a bit. Um, obviously Chris Chris Hunter um gave you the the opportunity to come back to Fraser. But what were your initial thoughts? Uh, well, I mean we uh I was. I've actually played one game for Burnley and Hearts that season, and it was a Tuesday, the Saturday, the Brock first game of the season, Hunter T. Norner. I was a bit of a buzz, I actually went and watched that because we didn't hear a game. Um, and I was a bit of a buzz just for a, it was a new new kind of era came for the Brock, and that we Charlie Duncan being there so long, but I was a bit of excitement and I think we got a lot, a lot of long around the club, and um, obviously Brock, uh, Hunter being an ex Brock legend, now we got him. Um, I was like, okay, with well, the Keith the first game of the season, then I think the Tuesday I played for a hair is uh, funny enough, I actually got sent off. I've never been sent off in my life, that's the only game I've been sent off. Um I got beat for Creedon Bay. Then on a Wednesday, my ex long the ex alongside manager, James Strahan, he actually phoned me to play a bounce game against Bit Sligo and I was like, Well this is kinda of out the blue can so I told us to ask Bucking even Hertz if it was alright to play us bounce game for the Brock. It was like a Brock and a select hunter. I've got a few boys um, along with James Strahan. Father thought could maybe Brock into the Brock team. If I was like, used to be here again, so I was a few of us. Um, so after that kind of game against Newport Sligo, just like a trial game, Hunter said, right, I walk to my after the game. Like, I'd say, you're coming with me, so I didn't really get an option. <laughs> so it was a okay, case so the, the basically two days later, um, that was me signed for a Brock. In my, our class, it was my debut. It was up at Huntley. Came on. It was came on after for last half an hour maybe. It was three one down. I must have came on. I must have scored my first touch. Mark the three two. Then with mine Willie West, he got a last minute equaliser. So in space, like a week, I think kind of just changed like that. And that was my kind of playing high league football again. So no, it's, I, I, I still keep in contact with him at times. So I've got a lot to thank for him eh, for giving me a chance to. Eh, Play high league football, especially playing at Brock and all. Yeah, so so what was your your first experience of in terms of getting a ball in from him? Uh, I kind of had kind of just stuck it. I I our players are different. I must I mean, I've been second third game probably, but <laughs> I, I I I like I think you need that sometimes. I think as as some boys just kind of fair enough. You folk probably thinks he goes too far, but sometimes I think you need that like to get get out of your boost you can. But some folk some players probably new ideas probably hide if I can mm. uh, but I, I, I think you need that like because I, I, it's about its limits Ken but mm. um, as long as Ken as long as you can you can run I suppose but uh, you, you, you sometimes need that but no it must have been after a couple of games and Ken <laughs> that gave us you know, that gave us to me like I think it was for me uh, that was pretty later on like but no a couple of games then <laughs> in terms of his man management what, what, what was that like I I can I, I can only speak for myself, but he just got can he just gave me the chance. He can I just can he he basically can every game I played still a new can but 
Um, he just made my route uh, D for D and basically kind of made me feel like I was always going to be better and the opposition player I was up against again. Um, he just kind of believed in me. He always kind can he just like, I learned a lot from him, Ken, and um, he just he was a good motivator for myself, Ken. Yeah. I got a lot of thanks for him for that, like, cause he he is he is good at kind of side of things, Ken. A lot of folks says oh, he shouts his head off and all like that. Mm. It's hard. Uh, it's part and partially some some matches as well, Ken. Yeah. So so what what do you remember about your your first trophy win with with him at Fraserburgh? Well, when the Aberdeenshire Shield, I would have been 2011-12 season. So I would have been. I so I was a bit I was against Banks I did at the Balmore Stadium. It was a Wednesday night, so I it was a easy it was a good easy kinda cup final can we end up winning five 0 and I scored two at night so it was, it was good all around. It was just and it was just brilliant just to get a trophy back to the Brock as it was like I think the Brock went like six year uh, without a trophy obviously when Charlie was there, so it was good to win a trophy first season under Hunter in the high league and especially for a six year gap so the fans and everybody was buzzing me out like yeah so so how how vital was that in terms of like getting the ball rolling with trophies oh I, I'd I'd kind of I'd start it like because I mean to this day ever since we won out in yeah, that's kind of how it started it, kind of trophies okay, we've won we've won in the Brock's won in if, 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 every season or less if they maybe one season we've missed out but no, I just kind of, that's, that's what I aim for. Kind of, if the league, kind of, if we're far doing with the league or that in years gone by, then kind of every cup game, that we're always, we're always up there. Kind of, kind of, with a few finals we've been beating up, but no, I just kind of, definitely a good record um, with cup wins or the last 10 years anyway, that's for sure. Yeah, so so what, what cup win um, kind of game um, stands out for you? The season after that, we played for Martin. I uh, oh, was a crazy game. Like, I was, what if um, I was I, I was able to enter a cup, um, and that was at Bucky fucking for Martin was two 0 doing and they they was that from this day Carmi Keith then I, I can't mind if they did Carmi Keith but Mikey Ewan was up front for them and I think there was two 0 up two 0 up half we was two 0 doing half time game with King I thinking game's done and um, for Martin's got their first trophy in the league and all that then um, second half we end up getting uh, back to two two then we. A bit of boys and half, and we ended up winning penalties. It was just the craziest game I've ever played in. Like, um, Graham Johnson scored absolutely scream out market 2 2. And it was just seeing that game, just thinking, like, how did we even win that? But I uh, have some buzz that I'd, I'd been like, so I was good to win that kind of. I was a two year Bidinshire Cups within the first two seasons playing high league, so you no, know, I was, was just delighted. Like, uh, but I was been a season after that, and I we played. Was it season after that? No, it was just two seasons after that. We played Bucky at Keith. And that was the same. That was like a three-two game, and can mm. every cup, every cup final is always a cracker, a match. Can it's never, it's always a close game, especially against high league teams. Can yeah. So, so you mentioned um, Graham Johnson. How how good a player was he? Ah, uh, he's can he's, he's he was just uh, so he was class. Like it was really just his, his technical ability and all like that. Um, second and none. He was just. Okay, you didn't, you didn't, if he was watching, you wouldn't have came for kind of feet he was, you wouldn't have came for right or left again, but he just bend it and tap corners all the time. He's go, he's, he won goal this season every season for the Brock, like, uh, but I kind of got, you know, we, we, we probably should have had a better partnership up front, looking back, like, again, but in hindsight, I suppose it's easy to say that, but no, he was just, I, I mean, watching him uh, when he started Brock as a fan, like, we, my pals, and again, he was just brilliant, him and Mikey Stephen, like, so. Ken, it, was, it was brilliant to play. We had him for a few seasons, Ken, so, so it was good. Like, yeah. So, so what what do you think's been key in terms of the amount of players Fraser has produced? Well, what's that? Ken, obviously, like Gardy Ken, Charlie Duncan, kind of teed in a few other piece in round for the taking kind of youth players, giving him a chance every season. Then Hunter did the same, kind of gradually, and all like that. As well as signing players for like other kind of high league clubs. Then Mark, Mark kind of has done the same again. He's gave you these boys a chance as well as so we're getting the same boys for their teams and all again. So it's been a bit of a mix. It's just the area came. We've got a good area of players coming through. It is always game. We've got a good youth set up and all with the twenties and the eighteens or whatever it is. So you know, it's just the area. And it's just we've always got folk coming through. So it's you know, long may it continue. You can fans at the end of the day, they love it uh, as well as winning. They love seeing them uh, brought 
Brock lad playing again. Moving forward um, to to you leaving to, to for Martin, what was kind of the, the main reason of, of your departure? I was my fourth season with the Brock, so I kind of, I think it was kind of, I barked my head at the end of that second half of the season. Um, I think it was because I, I think it was because I was young. Or I just felt like I, I just felt like I wanted a change. Kind of, I was maybe being, I was maybe a bit young. Kind of, I was kind of, kind of, I was maybe a bit sulky. I don't know, like that. And I think I just did it in my head. I wanted to change somewhere else. Um, then it was like it must have been two weeks later. Uh, for Martin kind of sacked the manager there was rumours about Hunter and all like that then obviously in that season the Hunter became for Martin manager and he uh, ended up me Ghani again but I was now I was, I was thinking about I was thinking about my head just for a change before that even happened again but no fun it did happen again I, I was probably was, I was old to be Hunter Ghani I can I was kind of the main thing in our former um, as well because I think fun it ended up being transferred I think Bro, I think Bro actually came in from it. I think, um, but I was never, I was never travel that far. <laughs> but um, no, it was, it was, it, it was not, it was like a good fit. But okay, Hunter team went high he gave him a chance, played him all the time, and played my in the, okay, and scored the goals and won the trophies. Won, I think it was I actually won three trophies before I left the block the first time. So, okay, I was, okay, he gave him a chance at a time, and that's so when he went air, and okay, I just felt like I, I wanted to kind of go air because he was there again. Okay. So, so what was it like being part of such a a major rebuild? Uh, I was it was a mint it was a really eye opener like because it was like you was going for the Brock came Town Club family club I'd be together to like to like a select basically that's what it was it was a select then mm. you used, I, okay, I was thinking I mean for as young I you went for that Aberdeen select and mm. you had the best players and that was I was kind of a wee bit of what it was like then but. Um, I we came with first it was me, Graham Roger, Gal, Neil Gal, Gary Wood, then the end it was like Paul Lawson, it was like he was coming from Motherwell and I was like, That's just madness again. <laughs> it was like it was training at a wee little uh, park at Bermed next to school and I was like, God <laughs> I'm like, This is mad again but Craig McQueen came back that season and that assigned so Ken was the also the started players like Carmi Keith and it was like it was looking Ken looking at Rune, you're like Phew. Ken, what a team! What a team! Ken, um, it was just—it was a really eye opener. It, it was a good experience. Ken playing for them. Ken, it was, it was a the tough. The first season was tough, like for me, because mm. it kind of ended. I was—it was just because being for the Brock, I had that long to kind of go in somewhere totally different. Ken, but no, no, my old time for me, I did, I did enjoy it. Like, Ken, I did, I didn't really get one bit gone because I'm glad I went. Um, uh, because you, you see I'm in a total kind of different perspective and all again. How, how did you cope in terms of the, the pressure? <sighs> do, do you know, Ian, it's not like pressure. It's me, you can every it's the same it's the same with Brock now, you can every mm. time we play a team it's a cup final for the opposition team. Can so actually it was kinda of like especially that season for Martin uh, can every se- every season for Martin they they they're gone for the league, Ken. They should be winning the league and all like that, but it's not happened since. But yeah, match season Ken we did feel like we and it was a new Ken Rahing was new and I like that and um with the team today it came we played off a good football Ken but it, probably two games that kinda let us do was against Cove. Ken we got beat twice with Cove in the league and that's probably kinda if it kinda let us do but they was a kinda bogey team for us. They like they a good they're a great team in Arkin and deserved it definitely. That's why they've won the league after that in Arkin. But um, no, professional wise, it was near the team just kind of got on me. It kind of it was the boys that played it higher, so they they probably kind of didn't make any feel pressure either. Kind of, so boys kind of just got on me again. So what, what what was it like playing with the likes of obviously you played with Lawson, you played with Derek Young. Was it a bit strange seeing seeing people like that where you were used to maybe seeing them on the tally? Ah, uh, no, it was it was an eye opener. Kind of, it was like kind of, I was just like because you know, I mean playing. I'll tell you, I, I didn't have message playing football tennis with them, like, cause <laughs> I was just useless and that. They was just like, Pfft. but you, you can tell the difference from your training me, like, that. Okay, and like, Loss and that, and the Young and he, he, Craig McHugh and that, training, that, training wise, like, can they would just be on you as soon as you get a pass or because their, their standard was that high. And you could tell, you could tell a mile away, Ken, but no, it was, it was, uh, it was really, Ken, it was, it was great to play with them, Ken. To say that I've played in a team game and all like that, so yeah, I'll always st- uh, stick in my memory, and as well as 
even the uh, from Russell Anderson came in and helped uh, to be Lawson's uh, assistant, Ken, even at Ken, so it was good, it was really good. And it's like, uh, I always uh, be in my mind to be at Ken. Yeah, so, so, what, so what was it like playing against Fraser Brown when you were up for Martin? Uh, it was the first year. First, the first season, I mean, I mean, I just got booted off the park room, like, uh, I, mean, I, I, just, I, I didn't even show, I probably was hiding out, I was in a shock, I think I was, and then the game at Bells Lee, the first season, I was suspended by a booking off from a, from a car mine, but uh, the second season, the second season, we actually always did wheel against them, um, the only time we got knocked out pens for them, then the last season, I was there, we fun Hunter left and lost in Tinoa, um, we had a good record with him, okay, we bet him in a semi, semi-final then, we bet him, we bet him and him in a while then, we bet him in a high league cup final last, so we had a good record against him again, but it, 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 after the first season it kind of wore off again, the East obviously, uh, it was the first season it was awful weird playing against him like again. Because my home team club at the end of the day. When you left for Martin and to go back to Fraserburgh, were there ever opportunities to go elsewhere, or or was Fraserburgh always going to be the, the place? <laughs> well, it was kind of kind of I was I was offered to kind of bide another year away from Martin, but I was happy enough. To, well, I had one year left deal, left in my contract, I think it was, but it was that to sign an extension. But I kind of I was I would have bid another season because to kind of see how it, but. Ken, after after the second season, I can't. I was always going to come back to Brock regardless. Ken, whatever I did, but um, I'm glad I, I left from Martin in good terms. Ken, winning that two cups that last season with him, it was it was good part of the first team ever to win the High League Cup. Um, so kind of left good in their terms. Uh, finish, finishing top goal scoring the two seasons I was there and all, but uh, regarding like uh, moves also, it was always going to be Brock because it was going to agreed kind of. I gave it like high league is Abdi Kins each yeah. other so Abdi speaks funny way so it's kind of you know like that but I've, only of our moves have kind of Peter Heed came in from a few times um, only of our team Peter Heed came in a few couple of the last season actually from it's Covid because their season kept carrying on Ken mm. it was kind of it was annoying to start I can I always start with playing higher because I can I could play higher because you know you see the difference when you play higher teams when you've got top six in high league Teams against the lower league teams, the uh, league above, sorry, in the Scottish Cup. You can, you, there's never a difference again in the yeah. games, like it's always tight games. Um, but no, it's, it's something, can I, it's something maybe for a junior, I'd probably be like, oh, can when you mind playing higher to see if I like it is. But then, can you know, I know you, Brock and could end up playing not hit next league, you just don't know. Yeah, would, would your Fraser Bra pals would have disowned you if you joined Peter Heed? I think the fans would like. <laughs> <laughs> my grand, my granddad would deny. I think like, so, it, I think it, a, that was a non-starter. Like, yeah. How how are you finding this season? Ah, it's been I We were like, we were a tough start, like fixture wise. Again, as soon as we came, we was like, no, what a, what a start. But <laughs> no, it's we've, we've played other teams. It's got to be a bonus already. Um, minus rock, so look at Rothis, but no, we've done wheel so far. But at the end of the day, it's just it's just a start. Can end of the day, Abdi can beat Abdi in high league, so every game's got to be every team's tough. Can Aberdeen try cup again? I feel like we'll last season, so it's been a really good start. Can but um, no, we'll just take game by game. Can we? Well, we don't get carried away with ourselves, but no, just fingers crossed. Can come in the season, we're still here. Can for we're out in the league. Yeah, do, do do you think it's helped you? Um, you guys have have played together for for a few seasons, and, and you kind of know each other. Ah, um, uh, we we hi, we've we've done we've named it a couple. Of, okay, we've we've added maybe a player or two in the last three, two three year. Okay, but then then again, that like, with COVID, it's kind of it's kind of stop start. Same for everybody else, but you no, know, we've got a really tight unit and walking fit to the from on that pitch. We can for our strengths, and we've got a bit of a a uh, like unique kind of kind of Abdi's like different in the way we are kid. I've said it before like what yeah uh, the strike force we've got it's probably the best the best in the league definitely kids but the thing is Abdi Abdi's different kid. if I've said it before like um like for my first season for Martin uh, with that strikers now like that, kid, on paper brilliant but we didn't click mm. kid, we got 
new team at Brock, strikers at Brock, I'd be different than we were just cheap or why would you gel with us brilliant like again? Yeah. When obviously yourself, you've got your, your mm-hmm. Bucky's, your your office is, is probably up there as well. Mm-hmm. So it should be interesting come the come the end of the season. Oh uh, that's the thing we bro bro uh, bro will be they'll go in our own Bucky, they'll be tough and you know for Martin will be can for Martin's quite lost a few games but they'll they'll they always go in a, a mental run. So you know I'd deal I'd deal uh, take points off each other again and just follow our takes some nice points that's what it is I do I suppose. Mikey Stevens goal scoring record must be something you're you're looking to, to beat. It is it is up there like game, um, but I'm kinda of just uh, can I'm up here, I knew I'm third new, but if, I kind of just, uh, I only ever think I'd be if I'm close, like if I'm a goal behind somebody, like, I don't really think of it as much as that, but um, no, I, I kind of I keep telling you, all my goals, if I, didn't, if I scored for Martin and Brock, but no, it, it is, okay, if, I, if I carry on for the next couple of years, I should hopefully, fingers crossed, I get her in the end, King, so it'd be like, it'd be, it'd be like, it'd be surreal to do that, King, she's when he was younger he was just unbelievable watching him play like Ken but no he's just a legend the high league Ken best probably best proper ever hmm. Ken uh, Matt funny thing is when I played with Russell Bride for a few years he can he used to uh, Michael Stevens called mods Ken but Russell would call me shit mods so I was like <laughs> I'll take that like Ken, <laughs> Ken. but no um, no it's nah, it's up there it would be a target but um I'll just I just take it game by game regardless. Uh, I don't even go into too much thing you want. Like if I had a choice, I'd if I had a choice, I'd win yeah. the league or be in Mikey Stevens. I'd rather really win the league. So that's it. All hundred percent. Like cause that's the uh, that's the one kind of thing I've never won. Can I've won other cups now? So hopefully, fingers crossed, we we get an end. And also, I mean, the, the added bonus of, of potentially getting promoted. That's I, I, can I be uh, no, I'll be can I be. To do that would be amazing, like Ken, just to be like first team, Brock team ever to go higher. So you never know, Ken. It's the club wants that direct, Ken, that direction. So again, fingers crossed with that and that. But like I say, we just like kind of one game at a time, be humble, and just see if our ticks just come in the season, Ken. Um. So fi- final question: Who who do you think's the the best player you you faced so far, um, in your career? My first young, like. Probably start like from my younger days. I oh, best defender, hard defender. I used to hear like uh, I used to hear, I used to hear good battles with Eric Watcher and Craig McEwen. Um, I used to hate playing against Wick. They, they the two brothers, uh, Stevens, I think they were. Oh, they just they were just I uh, came out again. They came out again. I do you yeah, I uh, you know I hang like this side of it. They were just I I. Hang, uh, they'd be so dirty, but they'd, they'd be better you at a lot of time. But I knew, I'm trying to think I knew, like, Ken, it's me, it's me having a bit Craig on that last, well, Ken, Craig McEwen, and even, like, Brian, Brian Hay, Brian Hay, for I played against him for, for Martin, Ken, it was tough. Um, can I, I can I just think you can probably, look at Ken, Craig, Craig McEwen's probably been a, one of the hardest scenes I, I mean playing against him, and I just got near one year, I'm like. Thanks for listening to the Highland League podcast. Hope you can join me next time for another interesting interview.